Okay, let's connect my client's brand new Squarespace website, which I've just finished to their existing domain live using 123 Reg. This is the way I would always do this. So let's take back to walk it from the beginning. Uh, I've purchased Squarespace. So this is the annual subscription on it. I've logged into 123 Reg to look at my domain. And then we're going to go into Squarespace first. Now Squarespace wants you to connect the entire domain over to Squarespace. Doing that can be a problem for an established old domain that already has a bunch of DNS records on it because connecting it over to Squarespace will probably remove all of those records and just cause problems with email, connectivity, they'll all need to be re-added and retested. In reality, the best thing that you can do for your clients in most cases is leave their domain where it is with their registrar, most likely if you're lucky, and then just connect a few records over to Squarespace that will allow the domain to point to the Squarespace website without Squarespace needing to own the domain. Why do they need to own it? It's weird to me. Okay, so I've prepared by logging into 123reg or your domain registrar of choice and then going to Squarespace, domains, use the domain I own, I'm gonna type in the domain. Now Dome, Squarespace is gonna suggest that you directly connect, transfer the domain over to Squarespace domains, they're gonna look after it for you. Doing that is where problems lie. I want to leave my client's domain with their registrar. There's no need to transfer it over in this case. It's just gonna cause more confusion. So let's do that. So we're gonna connect the domain. That's all I wanna do is connect the domain. Now I don't have 123reg aren't included on here, which is a shame because there are some wizards that do this for you. We're just gonna manually do the work connect the domain it's going to ask me to apply these six records to the DNS for spot mix which is my client so I've not done this yet so let's do it live so within one two three reg we're looking for the domain name settings where all of the records are kept the DNS records every registrar looks slightly different but they all largely do the exact same thing they're going to list all of the records here and we're going to add the ones we need to add uh, and remove any we need to remove. So looking here, I can see a couple of A records we're going to be replacing. So I'm going to be replacing anyone that's going to the root of the web of the domain, which is SpotMix. They need to be going to the new Squarespace site. So I need to get rid of these. There looks there seems to be a remote.spotmix.co.uk subdomain, which I'm guessing is something that I don't need to know about uh, and can't access. Some of the, something the IT company have got. I don't want to touch that because they're going to need access to that. I don't need to touch the remote. It's just another subdomain. Like www. is a spot is a subdomain. So is remote in this instance. And you can obviously make your own subdomains. Um, okay, it's not going to touch that. The name servers. So these are the one two three reg name servers. This just tells me that the domain not only is registered with one two three reg, but the name servers are actually also connected to. 123 reg which is great there's no further registrar complication in this scenario there's a c name here for auto discover for outlook don't need to touch this this one or this one this is not gonna this is all email related or domain related there's nothing connected to that i need to point to squarespace and then various text records which offer various bits of verification we've got outlook protection spf records on here mx records we absolutely absolutely don't want to touch that's mailbox stuff and then we've got another SOA record for the primary nerve server. So in this instance, I'm just going to be removing the A records that are related to www. or the root or the wildcard. So I think at the moment, so this represents if I go to sandwiches.spotmix.co.uk, so a random, that's not right, <laughs> a ham sandwich company. If I could type, it is going to redirect me to the wildcard potentially, which is probably just back to the root site, but in this instance, it's not working or it doesn't do that. So fine, not gonna, not gonna, not gonna worry about that because we're not using it. Okay, so what does it want us to do? First things first, it wants to add a new C name. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go, move my face out the way, add a record, add a C name. C name was, the value was that string and the host was verify. So C name, the host, which they call it required data, which okay, in the language of ugh, in the language of um No, I'm the wrong way around. Right, in the language of one, two, three reds, the C name is the name. 
the string is the name and then the required data is the value yeah okay right fine everyone's slightly different gonna add another one we're gonna add an a record and that was for the at symbol so that's just the root add another a record so the root Add another A record. Again, these are all just the roots, so there's just various IP addresses that will relate to, that will all point to our Squarespace site. Another A record. One, two, three, four A records added. Let's save all those. I can't add the www.c name yet because the um, because it's already a www.c name. Um, save for records. I did something wrong with this one, maybe. I put a space in there. Have I duplicated something? One four four. Ah, I think I, there was a space or a white space in the copy paste. Okay, right. So I've added all of those. I need to get rid of the old one, which pointed at one eight eight sixty five here I'm gonna get rid of you we're no longer gonna to point to the old website but what I'm gonna do oh massive tip <laughs> got to do this first take a screenshot of everything so that if you cock it up you can always get it back so bear with me while I just do that that's all the records there are uh, scrolling capture right let's just take a little auto scroll screenshot of every record done save that um, okay cool so if I need to reference back and if something goes completely wrong I can just revert back to the old the old a record so we're gonna get rid of 18865 goodbye goodbye my friend and this wildcard one here I'm gonna have to double check whether I want to remove this or not um, it's not asked me to there might be a reason it's set this way but because Squarespace doesn't need it I don't need to go in and touch the A record with the, the wildcard asterisk A record, so I ain't going to touch it. Um, finally, the www, which is here, that's got to go. Because now www via the C name is going to be pointing to X customer. So C name, www. Squarespace, save that. So the old records are out. The reason I'm doing this at 6 p.m. is because the website's going to go, the domain's going to go funny for a while. Now let's refresh. And I wouldn't expect Google, Facebook, uh, Squarespace to see everything immediately, but you notice as we're hitting refresh, more and more A records and are being found and off and on. And this is just as the thing starts to propagate. So I'll update this once um, this is all gone green. And then within a few hours, usually an hour or so, we should see all of this working. And I'll just unpick if I've caused any trouble because I've been chatting to the camera and not paying attention. So what I'm going to do now is double check these are all done correctly. Copy and paste it across. Oh, there you go. Don't need to. I had done it right. Of course I had. Um, oh, and yeah, it's still seeing. So in this case, it's still seeing the old A record pointing there, which is gone. Refresh that. Make sure I'm not going mad. The only www dot listed. Over here is C name W exactly correct as it should be. So we just need this to refresh. Now it generally takes a few hours, not much longer than that. Um, I wanted to try and do it live to show you how long it takes. So as you, what's interesting to see is as it's refreshing itself, the we're watching it access the site and notice these flicking back and forth between oh I found it oh I haven't and that's just the nature of how propagation works across the site. Um, if we do a um, little Google on DNS propagation checker even if you misspell it they might work uh, we should see that my internet has died which is useful we're back okay and we can start doing a test so if we were to look for um, swap mix okay UK and let's see if we can see so that missing one we went we where's the WW so I'd like to see all of the C names connected to www. and we can see in some places in the states it's seeing Squarespace 
some places across the globe, Mexico, other states, Manchester in England. So this is just what's happening as, as, as the whole of the world's internet is refreshing itself um, and our, our DNS record changes are being propagated across the world. So sometimes if we're lucky it happens, I was hoping it might happen on the call, but what's going to need to happen is these are all going to need to propagate uh, fully and then at the same time the nice thing with Squarespace is it's going to automatically handle the SSL certificate. So we're going to see an error like this for now. We might be able to reload it at some point and see it. But within 10, 20 minutes or so, we will see all of this come to life. The HTTPS will work. The www dot will work. Everything will point to the new site. And that's when we realize we've made a typo or something. We're desperately trying to fix little bits and pieces. So that is it. I am pretty confident that there's nothing else to worry about here. Um, if we wanted to go back and check, we can always go back to the DNS settings over here and refresh it again. They do warn up to 72 hours, but I've never seen Squarespace take much longer than an hour or so to propagate. Um, maybe maybe a few hours longer. Now it's all gone green here, which is amazing news because I wanted to do it live in one long video. And if we hit the site, I wouldn't expect it to go live this quick, but you never know. We could try switching over to incognito mode, which you probably can't see because it's recording another window. And you could even try another browser. You could switch to your phone, try someone else, switch to another laptop. You'll start to see it. If you haven't cached it recently on another device, it will flick over much quicker. No, so nothing yet, not at the moment, but, but the fact this is all working so quickly and the fact we've got all greens here means the job's done now. It's just a matter of waiting for propagation. Thanks for watching. If you ever visit spotmix.co.uk, uh, hopefully you'll see the website is up there, which I've built for them, and um, that this video was useful. And if you stayed all the way to the end, good for you. You get you get a special badge. www.specialbadge.com. Bye.